This video explains how to get the current time in a specific time zone using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this, we first need to import the date time module, as you can see in the first line of code. And then in the next line of code, we can extract the current time and date using the date time today function. In this case, I'm also storing this output of the date time today function in a new data object that I'm calling date today. So after running this line of code, this new data object date today is created. And we can print this data object below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that currently it's the 7th of November 2022 at 9.02.03 a.m. So I am located in Germany and for that reason my time zone is GMT plus one. However, it's also possible to specify the time zone manually and we can do that by first importing the PITS module. And then in the next step, we can use the date time now function in combination with the PITS time zone function. And within the time zone function, we have to specify the time zone that we want to use. So in this case, I want to use the time zone UCT. As in the previous lines of code, I'm creating a new data object, which will contain this time. And I'm calling this data object date today UCT. So after running this line of code, this data object is created and we can print the content of this data object once again using the print function. And then you can see that in the time zone UCT, it's currently the date and time 7th of November 2022, 8.02.03 a.m. So as you can see, the UCT time zone is one hour earlier compared to my time zone in Germany. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.